site that points to your web address. Um, and you can have really unique domain names nowadays because um, they've opened up. So what they say is there's a num.com slope, so they've opened it up so you can get sankats.college, for example, you can get someone's name dot photography. So I've got a friend who's doing photography and she's trying to get her name dot photography. They're a bit more expensive than traditional ones, but um, they're quite varied now, so there's a whole lot of, there's quite a bit of um, variation. Um, so exactly. you can really um, you know, make it really unique. You can have your name dot me, you can have something dot um, like business. Maybe. You can get dot business, yeah. Yeah, so um, just try and find that appropriate suffix for the website you're trying to develop for. So if it's a business, um, like that yoga studio business, you can have your name dot yoga maybe, or your name name. Um, How do I find out? You can go on a domain, like on the website where you buy the domains. So for example, you can go on gonetrix.com and then that's where you can buy the domains. The, the dot yogas and the dot college and all the dot business, they're not available yet, so you have to, um, what's the word? You have to um, fit your web address. Yep. Um, yeah. So you can't get them straight away. And another part of developing a website you can think of is about is hosting as well. So hosting is actually buying a server space um, where your website will be saved, basically, yeah. in a nutshell. Um, if you're doing a website for your yoga web, um, business, for example, you'd probably, people accessing the website would be in Australia, so you'd probably want to host it in Australia, so you'd want to host it where people would be accessing the website to make it quicker to load. Yeah, go down to the Marathon, but they'd be hosting as well. They'd be hosting as well, yeah. Yep. Do you have any recommendations? For the Australian one? Um, so the, the one that we're sort of recommending is Squarespace. They have multiple servers around the world, so okay. it's they'll try and load the website closer to where the um, user is actually loading the website yeah. from. Um, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that sort of reduces the time, and um, yeah, it just makes your web experience for your user um, a lot easier. It gets a lot more pleasant because everything just loads faster. Um, and another thing to think about as well, hosting is you think about storage as well. Yes, for example, my friend is doing photography, she adds a lot of high resolution photos to her website and that takes a lot of space, that's a lot of gigabytes. So just make sure you choose a plan for hostage that's um, adapted to your needs. So usually it's a small website that you guys will probably be doing is pretty small, like even St. Catherine's College website. That's pretty small, it doesn't take much space for storage. So just make sure you choose a plan that suits you. And the next part of the web development process is the design work. So the hard and fast rule is to just keep it simple. Um, don't put paragraphs of text. Or yeah, no text. People don't like text. Keep yeah. it simple. Don't put huge images on the website as well. Um, and a responsive design is a must. So nowadays, a lot of people access their websites through um, tablets or your mobile phones. Um, so making sure that your websites um, are mobile friendly um, out of the box is a must. And also the little details like the um, favorite font, which is a little icon that appears next to your um, address bar on your web browser. Um, and Just also sort of little details. And make yeah. sure you update it every time. Like every like if I visit a website and I visit it a month later, I'd like to see some extra new information, something fresh. Like I can see, oh, that's been changed. That's good. Um, so make sure you don't just create a website and just keep it there for five years. Um, make sure you put new content on, you refresh it up every once in a while. Uh, yeah, that brings us to content. So make sure you plan your content here. So before you even go and get started on you know, creating your website, make sure that you have a uh, site map. Site map, yeah. One of so the things we did for St. Catherine's Book Club website, we just took a massive piece of paper and we just drew what we wanted the structure of the website to look, to look, like, to look at. To look and, like. and how those web pages link to the different uh, pages on the site. So you have a home page and then you go down to like about or content. Hotel rooms, and then we have inner hotel rooms throughout different sections. Yeah, so make sure you really plan out the structure of the site beforehand before you can get started with working on the website. And then you can even get started on the actual page that you want to have on the website. So making sure that you, you sort of have that content and that sort of informs your design and how that fits into how it looks and, and the layout of the site and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like I'm No, I got it. Um, we looked at the sitemap first. We said we wanted a page with this underneath that we wanted it to link to this page, for example. Like that's how we structured it. So on the website, we've got 
um, the hotel rooms, guest accommodation, we've got a section for seminars. Yeah. Um, that's how we thought of it, and then we looked at the um, effort after. Okay. And the, the service I'm going to show you after this great space is really, um, really flexible. It includes okay. really things I've heard people doing this with um, WordPress, but my Depends which service you use. Like a lot of, like you'll always be able to customize it to a certain extent. Yeah. But how much? That just depends on what you use. Um, yeah. and it just depends on which template you use. Also, WordPress has thousands of templates out there. Um, just depends how they're built. <coughs> so why we while we're talking about Squarespace today, because we've used it, we sort of know how to use it. And for students, it's quite a good deal. You get a fifty percent off on the first year, and it's quite cheap anyway. Yeah, it starts from, I think they have three different plans, so there's a personal plan and then a business and a commerce plan if you want to run a store on your website. Um, but the, the cheapest plan starts from $8, and that's before the 50% off discount, so it's really, really cheap. Um, and you also get a free domain for the first year that you sign up with. Yeah, so it does everything. It does the hosting for you, it manages your domains, you can do all the design on it. It's really simple, it's all in one. So that's what we want to make it really simple for you guys, so it's everything together. <laughs> So you'll sign up once, you won't have to sign up and buy a domain on one website, host it somewhere else, it's all together in one spot. So the four steps we mentioned just now, the um, domain, hosting, design, and content, that's more like how you create a website traditionally, but with Squarespace, there's everything sort of like a hosted solution in one, so you don't have to really think about domains or, or hosting and things like that. Um, so what happens if you already have a domain, you, you want to like revamp something? You can easily that. transfer your domain. Squarespace, so you just hook that up and then Squarespace will start using that domain. Oh, yeah, cool. So you get the domain um, elsewhere, or if you buy a domain elsewhere, not through your Squarespace, you just easily get that in here as well. And then you can also get um, email as well. So you get a domain, let's say my domain is talpi.me, so you can have email at talpi.me um, run through your Squarespace as well, connected to different web apps. Cool, so we'll go on to the demo. So this is a live preview of the site. Okay, so this is for the St. Catherine's College. So this is what the St. Catherine's College website backend looks like. Um, and then on this side, you have um, all of your um, admin options. You have your pages, your design, colors, metrics, comments, settings. So everything's really set up really nicely and really straightforwardly as well. It's not really that confusing. It's extremely easy to edit stuff. Do you want to show them how to edit? Yeah, so let's say you, like, you scroll around to the different text boxes. It comes up with this uh, pop-up box. That's, that's just a single one page. static page. So it's not linked to any, there's no like <coughs> high level structure to that website. So it's just that one page with a button to my email and resume and my social media links at the bottom. So with Squarespace, it's really easy to set up um, your own cover page. So we've just set up an account. So this is what it looks like. Once you've set up an account with Squarespace, um, if you want to create a single page with um, you know, just a static page, page, like for example for your resume, like cover page, it's pretty simple. So you just click on the plus button and then you click on cover page. So you can actually change the, the layout and the templates and you've got 
questions down here as well. So let's see, choose this one. Let's see. Yes, it's just that simple. So you just type your, your text in and then click save and then it's published live. So go back. And then you can also add imagery. Um, it's really easy, so it's drag and drop. Um, do this since it's are you okay? So that's just an example. So it just uploads and, and it's live straight away. And you can also, um, there's a, a web based photo editor that's attached to Squarespace. You can so crop it, add filters, anything you want. It's pretty easy. Okay, you've got all the, the tools up there. So you've got crop, resize, enhance, brightness, and things like that. So you can do it all within Squarespace. And we can also add buttons. So let's. So we can show you how to link different pages in together now. Right. Yeah, so um, one of the first things when you want to create a multi-page site is the template specifically. So if you go into the design tab, and then you click on the template. So you come and you click on the post new template. This one's just an example. We haven't actually bought a domain for the purpose of this uh, example, so that's why. Right. So if you buy the domain, then you don't have to have Squarespace. Yeah, no, no. So then, if you have multiple domains, you can choose a primary domain. So that becomes your primary domain, and then your the whatever .squarespace.com, whatever you sign up with, that still points to your website, but that's not the primary domain. So that's a single website. So you can target without having the Squarespace. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. So you have a ton of templates on Squarespace, and they've all um, sort of categorized as well for businesses, for portfolios, for stores, personal websites, musicians. Um, so let's say we do business. Do business yeah. Yeah. Well, we've reselected one, so we've selected Brian. Let's go back. Home pages. That's the home page. So that's what it looks like right now. So it pre-populates the content for you. So it has sort of like a layout structure done already for you. And all you really need to do is just click on edit and then start typing your text in or start copying and pasting your text in. So this is where we, like another you know, content comes in handy if you have it ready beforehand so that you can 
change, completely change the layout as well. So if you go on, you can see. So these little like um, panel bars that come up, if you click on them, and then this pop-up window comes up, and you can add an image, you can add a gallery, you can add a form, uh, a button, and all your social media links as well. So you can really, really <coughs> it. Um, let's say if you don't like this gallery, you can just delete the block. That's fun. You can add something else. Add a form. Or you can add more as well. So let's do a checkbox maybe. So you can set it to go to email, you can set it to go to Google Docs, which is what we use. Mm -hmm. um, and it can go to MailChimp also. One, one of the things that's really nice with Squarespace is that if you guys use MailChimp, MailChimp is um, some online software to use to make newsletters. So it all connects together, which is really useful. So click on the storage tab at the top. So you can um, have it sent to your email if you don't want that. Just click on the close and then connect to your Google Docs and it'll come up with the, the login to your email address and it'll connect it to your um, It's on your private account. But yeah. So you can just easily connect to your third party settings as well. And all of the forms will be stored in a form in a spreadsheet with the you know the details and the email. Adding content, so let's go into the style editor first. So, the style editor is really where you can go and change the entire look and feel of your website. So, just like how we did the, the change the colors for the, um, the cover page, you can do it um, for an entire site as well. So, you can just make it transparent. as well, so that's what the um, the um, slide, slider is, so you can change the transparency of the, um, of the buttons. Um, yeah, so you can see from the number of options, it's really, really um, customizable. Um, and if you click on the little tabs up the top, you can see what it looks like on the mobile. So this one looks like on the tablet. So it's mobile friendly out of the box already, so you don't have to worry about you know making a responsive website. Um, and you'll read out the menu. So if you look at the menu bar at the top there, so if it's a smaller screen, it will all add it in a little tab at the, on the side. Like that. Yeah, it just comes up from the side. Things we use the website for is to sell some. So we sell tickets, for example, to events, or we sell our jumpers on them. Um, 
So one of the things you'll need if you want people to pay on the website, you'll need a payment gateway. So that's uh, like PayPal, PayPal will process the payment for you. We use Stripe. Do you want to show it? Oh, Stripe? Yeah, we'll yeah. Stripe there. Um, I think the recommended service that um, Square speaks at links to is Stripe. Stripe is cheaper too, so all those payment gateways, they'll take a percentage of what you've received through the website. So Stripe, I think it's, is it 1.75? But if you email them, you can get it knocked down. We got it knocked down to 1.4%. Just email them and ask, oh, hello, like here at this start of business, and you know, you really need to lower down your pay costs, so can you like reduce the, um, the transaction fees? Processing fees. The yes. processing fees. Okay. So once you have a Stripe, and it's free to sign up for Stripe as well, so you don't pay, it's not a subscription based service, you just sign up for an account, and, and once you start receiving payments, whenever that is, yeah. you'll just start taking that. So, so you just connect it to the bank, and then whatever payments is going to the bank comes from the And then you connect that through to Stripe, and then you have your um, store set up just like that. And then from there you can go into <coughs> inventory. You can add some products that you want to sell. So we have like our hoodies that we sold um, for the last month. The last month? Yep. Yeah. Um, so that's an example of one of our products that we um, sold through our new website. So within in this box, you you can add an image for all of the um, things that you're selling, and then you can add pricing and variance as well. So we had two different like, chopper colors. We had the blue and the pink, and then we had uh, multiple sizes of, from those categories as well. So it's really customizable. And well, manage your stock too. So you'll put in exactly how many of each you have, and then it, it will stop selling once you're stock, you're out of stock. And you can add like more information, like a sizing chart, for example. Um, and it will do all the emailing for you too. So when someone buys something, it'll send a receipt to their email. It says, it will, you can, if you want to post it, you can do all the tracking information. So you can put all your little um, links. Um, and you can also ask for more specific information if you need, like, for example, when you sold it, you need to know their room number, for example, at the college that we can deliver them. Yeah. Um, so you can, when people buy stuff, you can ask for extra information. Pretty flexible. And then with the commerce feature in Squarespace as well, you can do um, donations. So um, that's one of the things we like. We want to do in the future with our website is to receive philanthropic um, donations. So it allows you to do that too. But it will also go through the payment gateway. So you will also have to pay the percentage of those. And then, so that's where you set up your shipping options. So um, for us, because we're only selling it to residents, so if you, the pickup option is, is the only option basically, but you can set it up with um, different couriers as well if you're using that to sell products. Um, and then they even print off the shipping labels, I think, mm. that yeah. you can stick off, and then just attach the code in, and then your automatic, Squarespace will automatically send a, a fulfillment order. So the customer will receive uh, an email with the tracking ID and all the information that you need from the box. So it's really, and it doesn't necessarily yeah. have to be a physical product. It can be um, you selling maybe yoga class. You can say, oh, from this session, from this time to this time, yeah. you pay on the website here and it will send you a receipt. And yeah. It can be as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. So when, you just, when you're adding a product, it doesn't have to be a physical product. It can be a service as well. So that will come to your, um, yeah. your, your website. <coughs> um, so it can be a service, a uh, physical product, or like going to form a hall ticket. Yeah, and tickets, event tickets. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so those are the three main um, categories. But you can also play around with them um, and see what works best for you. The other um, third party app that you mentioned was Xero with an X. What is Xero, that? that's the accounting software. So what, um, I, don't know, I don't know if your yoga business uses it, a lot of businesses are starting to use Xero. Um, at the college we use Xero, so everything, all the sales done through the website will go directly to the accounting software. So that just saves time for the accountants have less work to do. You have to, instead of entering them manually, it'll just all go straight into it. And then you can also do seasonal coupons. So you just add a coupon in, and then people can just type in the promotional code, and then that will be um, added, well, added directly to the, um, their cart. So commerce really works out of the box with Squarespace. You don't really need to um, you know, use a third party, apart from Stripe. And that's free to sign up as well, so that's what they pay.
So, um, so once you've got all your website up and going, you probably want to measure everything to do with metrics. So who's visiting your website, where they're visiting from, um, what they're clicking on. So one of the things you can do is look at all the metrics. Um, so Squarespace is really comprehensive metrics as well, built out of the box. So you don't even have to, um, to sign up for an external service, although we do recommend signing up with Google Analytics. It's way more powerful, you get um, way more options. So, but you, the, the fact is that you do actually get metrics out of the box. So even if you don't use um, Google Analytics, it's, it's still, you still get an overview of you know, the number of visits that you get, the page views, and where they're coming from. Um, mobile usage as well. So you get some really interesting graphs as well to track um, the success of your website. And one thing, one of the examples where we use the metrics for is we. For example, looked at what the most visited pages were on the website. So we saw that um, booking a room on our for our hotel style rooms was higher, was used, was viewed more than our com um, conference rooms. For example, so we just adapted the website to that. Book a room was more in your face, and like when you went on it, it was in front of you, and the conferencing is a bit lower. So with looking at all the metrics, you'll be able to adapt your website accordingly. So the last two things that we want to show you on Squarespace is domains as well. So we mentioned just now that when you sign up for uh, Squarespace for the first time, you get your first year, you get a domain for free for your first year. Um, domains are pretty cheap anyway. We bought some on Tuesday and we got one for 99 cents US. There was a dot com. So they're pretty cheap. So if you, if there's... Is that per year? Yeah, it's a yearly payment. It's an annual yeah. payment, yeah. But obviously that was a sale, but they usually, you can get them for quite cheap. And you can also pay them for like two or three years in advance as well. So you don't have to worry about you know, um, renewing your um, domains every year. So when you um, sign up for Squarespace, you get the square.squarespace.com domain included. Um, but then you, to get your own custom domain, all you need to do is click get a domain. So you don't have to worry about getting a domain from another site, um, although you could if you want, um, but you can just get it through Squarespace as well. So there's a ton of options. They've got .com, .org, .net, info, all the regular stuff, and then they've got .space, website, club, work, .xyz, photography, life. There's hundreds of rocks. Yeah. Sure. yeah, some of them are really weird. .air force, if that means. <laughs> That one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so lots of really cool. Um, um, As you can see, they vary in price too. So the dot with the longer names, the more specific ones like the bike or the black or blue, they're more expensive. But again, it's a, it's a yearly charge, so you're not you know, paying it for money. Why is it that they're more expensive? It's just because they're new and there's like that novelty to they're it. Novelty, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think eventually it's, the price yeah. will just go down, yeah. so be on par with all the <coughs> .com and um, Yeah, and they're slowly increasing more and more of the um, custom services. So um, I think they're going to uh, introduce dot .college, so they're going to try and get the yeah. same .college or some kind of .college sometime soon, um, when that launches at the end of the year. Sorry, this is a little abstract question. If we decide what the math there is a I think there is someone. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> so they, they sort of decide and they sort of slowly release all the, the, the domains. Um, yeah, so yeah, again, it's really easy on Squarespace to just get a domain for free. Um, and then lastly, you can also get your own custom email. So all you can do is click on the email tab, and then that connects to um, Google Apps. So you can get, and, but that's an additional charge. 
not run the free script, but then you, they use the same domain that you bought or the domain that you own uh, and connect it to your Squarespace. So it's about fifty dollars a year, um, and you get not only email but you get the cloud storage, you get Drive, Docs, and, and all the other Google apps as well that are all tied into your customer. So that's a quick tour and. Yeah, can you show us the accounting part? Uh, sorry? The accounting. The zero. Yeah. The zero. We don't have access to zero, but we can show you in Squarespace how we can access it. Okay. Is there a particular need that you need to connect to zero? Are you using zero right now? No, I just, I'm just curious how it works. <laughs> Squarespace straight to our accounting software because we use Checkfront, which is for our hotel room. So we've connected Squarespace to Checkfront to Stripe to Zero. Oh, so we've okay. got a bit of a longer way. Okay, but, um, but it is possible to have it like from Square Squarespace to Stripe and then to um, Zero. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. We've got a bit of a more complicated way. But yes, okay. We can do it. okay. person to go up and do all the uploads or like a few people you trusted you can have different editor accounts yep. um, so people would only be able to add stuff on the website they wouldn't be able to touch like the all the um, yeah. page layout exactly, and all that stuff. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Um, you've been if you said it took like two months to make the same cats website how long did it take you for the for everything to come kind of insured of when you're working 
through the website. It looks a lot more intuitive than WordPress, but obviously it takes a while to learn it. So it's kind of a long the thing, the reason why we took two months is because we had to wait on professional photography to get taken, and because we had we were we were really specific on the content we wanted on there. But the actual setup of the pages and what pages we wanted and all the layout, that, that's quite quick. Um, you get used to it pretty quickly. Within 24 hours, if you play around with it enough, you get used to it. It's just drag and drop and click and edit. It's as simple as that. Uh, I think I have one more thing that I want to tell you guys about. So um, when you're building a website, obviously you need like, images or icons and graphics and things like that. So this website really helped us a lot. It's called makerbook.com. So it's basically a um, directory of some of the best free resources for creatives online. Um, so if you need high resolution stock images for free, they've got a ton of those sites, um, and you can go ahead and check that out. And you can do like color palettes and, and fonts and things like that. So all sorts of things. Um, and they're mostly free as well. Um, any more questions? Two questions. Um, what sort of support do you Squarespace if you, if you have any issues or if you don't know how to like, solve that problem? They're doing a pretty poor awesome of support and they really, really want to do it. So, um, yeah. We've been on the floor. We've got a yeah. contact with them before. They're pretty quick. Okay. And they're like in Australia? Or? They're not in Australia. No, they're based in the US, but they've got um, customers from all over the world. Okay. And how much is Squarespace paying you guys to do this? I wish there were videos. Get in contact. <laughs> um, any more questions? How much did you shop? Like, did you look around at the other platforms available before designing on Squarespace, or not really? You just kind of someone told you about it and you shopped it. Oh, you sort of started. Yeah, well, no, we had experience with um, WordPress before, but we felt that Squarespace was easy enough for, I think the whole point of, um, you know, the problem that we had initially that we talked about was um, making the website in-house so that we didn't have to go to an external agency to get the change and go charge us like $200 just to change a picture. Um, and it's like, you know, at the end of the year, we see interesting tactics, and if someone else comes over, it's easy for them to take over as well, and to sort of learn um, the ropes and, and update the website from there. And a few of the staff members, Already know what it is, and they sort of, you know, just log in and they've done it themselves. They will have a look at pages sometimes, and something has changed, and the staff is just doing it. So, yeah, which is really cool. From a logistical perspective, how do you have the sort of login details, parts, posts, and offers? Everyone has their own account. Yep. So okay. you can have multiple accounts. Yeah, they log into the same page. And they've all got different roles, so some can only edit, some can you know, okay. it's all different. Yeah. Etc. <coughs> Uh, yeah. I know, both works. Yeah. Um, and also like us on Facebook and Instagram.